Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Thanks for joining us today. My name is Judah, aka Judah Domino, but you just can call me Domino. Welcome to Mavuno Young and Fearless, where we turn ordinary people into fearless influencers of society. Fearless. That's right. So yeah, you're welcome. Just sit down, relax. Whatever you're doing, just relax. Grab some coffee, grab some tea. Let's worship God and let's commune with God. So let's pray before we start. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you grace. We give you adoration. We say you are the King of kings and you are the Lord of lords, Lord God, for you are the King that reigns in our hearts. And may you forever reign in our hearts. And may our hearts be a nice and a warm and cozy room for you to come and sit and work through us, Lord. No matter where we are located, no matter where we are situated, no matter our whatever it is that we are going through, our family is going through at this moment, Lord God, May you forever be our king. And may we forever acknowledge that you are a king. Because indeed, you are the king of all kings. In the name of Jesus, we pray thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run. The fountain I drink from, all he is mine. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide The ransom for my life, oh, he is my son Cause you are a good, you're good, oh You are a good, you're good, oh The king of my heart be the wind inside myself, the anchor in the waves. Oh, he is my son. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my son. Let the king of my heart be the wind. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my song, cause you are good, you're good. Oh, you are good, you're good. Oh, you are good, you're good. good. God is so good that He will never leave you or forsake you. He will never let you go. What? Like He will leave the 99 to come for you and be like, yo, my son, chill, relax, I'll take care of you. I'll clean you up. Who does that? What? Oh, He will never let us go. He will never, never, ever let us go. Even when we want to, He will never let us go. Susie. Oh, say you're never gonna let me yes. You're never gonna let me down. Never. Hey. You're never gonna let. You're never gonna let me down. Hey. You're never gonna let. You're never gonna let me down. He will never let you down. You're never Sing. gonna let. You're never gonna let me down. One more yes. time. Hey. You're You're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let me 
down Cause you are good He's always good You're good Always good Yes, sing it song You are good You're good doesn't change. He doesn't change. He's stable. What? See, we serve a living God who is always good. He's always good. Always good. He doesn't change. He said what? He's not like our fathers on earth that we will ask for what? For bread and he'll give us a stone. Yeah. Like, what? Man, like, when I think about God, it's he's just he's just mind blowing. I find him to be. You can't put him in a box. I think God thinks outside the box. That's why the, that's why the world is not in, it's not like a box. <laughs> like, yo! <laughs> we serve an amazing God. Awesome. And he gives joy. Even in this season, he gives joy. And I pray that that joy finds you wherever you are, wherever you're watching us from. That joy finds you because he is good. Whew. Please. Oh yes, Lord. I am no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. child of God I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God Yes, I am. I am a child of God. Listen. You unravel me with your melody. And you surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies. Yeah. Tell my fears are gone. You unravel me. You unravel me with a melody. With a melody. You surround me. You surround me with a song of deliverance. Of deliverance from my enemies. From my enemies. Till all my fears are gone. Till
Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you for setting me free. So I can walk right through it You drown my fears in perfect love And you rescue me and I will stand and sing I am a child of God Oh, let's go again Say, you split the sea so I can walk right through And you set me in this world so I walk around feeling all set. So now I think it's, it's about time I change my name to Set. Mm. See, God has got my back like a backpack, so I need nothing. Woo. And you can't call me Dora Explorer. Why? <laughs> because I'm flowing with the Most High. <laughs> See, He is an amazing God who took all my fears on, and made them my strengths. So currently I walk feeling all rumble, like I can take on this world Come because on. his name is my, what? My shelter, my shield, my everything. Whew. Man, I love his name and when I hear and think about him, I throb, my heart melts because he loves me even before I knew what love was. He was like, come, sit down, let me teach you what love is. It's when you give yourself expecting nothing because that's what I did for you. So you should learn from me. And that's all I want to do. And that's all we want to do because he loves us. So we don't sit here because of fear. We sit here because of the strength he has given us. See, we are all scared of something. Everyone in this world is scared of something. But then with Christ, see, he gets you out of that fear and sets you on a place where you begin to walk in different levels. See, you begin to walk and you begin to see that your fears of yesterday do not even matter today. I'm sure all of us have stage frights and all that, but here we are today. Like we're doing this. Why? Because we are doing this for the most high. See, he's amazing. He gives strength. He gives everything. I don't even know what to say now. Zuzay. I don't even know what to say. Me. Yes. With a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance. Of deliverance from my enemies, even myself. From my enemies yeah. till my feet are gone. I'm no longer what? A slave to fear. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I'm no longer a slave to sin. You're no longer a slave to coronavirus or whatever they call it. You're no longer a slave to anything. Why? Because he has set us free from the world, free from the enemy within, free, free from the enemy without, free from all the enemies in this world. See, you are set free. I want you to do one thing. I want you to put your hand on your chest. And just say, I am free. I am free indeed. Free I am free because of the living God. 
free I am free from all God. my addictions. I am free, free from all my chains. All my addictions. I am free. All my chains. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to week three of July and this conversation we've been having is interesting. I love it. My name is Pastor Jem, Mavuno Hill City Youth Pastor and of course I'm here with my fellow pastor. Yes, yes. Please introduce yourself. Hi guys, this is Pastor Shem Tuti. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, pastor, Youth Pastor at Mavuno Young and Fearless Hill City. Young and fearless. Young and fearless. What does it mean to be fearless? Fearless. Fearless is having less of fear. Yes. It's having less of that. Fearless. Okay. Let's go back. Let's just go back. Now that you've already had my brain, let's go back to baby steps. What is fear then? Thank Before you. we say less of it, what Thank is you. it? So, fear, it's the unpleasant feeling caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. Unpleasant feeling caused by? Threat, by the threat of fear, of danger, sorry, pain or harm. Okay, so being fearless means that there's pain, there's harm, there's, um, danger. there's danger, but there's no feeling of anxiety. Yes. So it's like you're still relaxed, but the threats have not left. Thank you. That's an interesting conversation. And today, guys, we want to talk about what it means to be fearless. Now that we call ourselves Mavuno Young and, and fearless, fearless, what does yes. that even mean? And in the Bible, the, the phrase do not uh, be afraid or do not fear appears more than 300 times. And a lot of times wow. you know yeah. that when something is repeated over and over, over again. it's what God is trying to draw attention to it. So this issue of fear, I think, is a, is a really big deal. Yeah. So let's get into it. Shem, what has been your journey of fear? Because all of us at some point face fear. Some situations true, true, true. escalate it, but yep. all of us struggle with that issue of fear. So for you, give us one example of that. Okay, uh, this is a sneak, sneak preview of my, of my life. Uh, growing up, uh, there's normally those uh, uncertain moments, uh, fear of exams. Everyone yes, uh, this fear of missing out as a teenager, mm -hmm. my case. Uh, fear of... Um, not uh, like uh, coming to terms to or uh, what your predecessor used to do, mm. coming to their degree or to their level. Mm. So it's but, like fear of failure in a way. Yes, mm. yes. But the, the epic one was uh, when I lost my job some few years ago. Mm. Uh, it's when uh, it actually really hit me. So the fear of and the anxiety of will I... How will I make it? Will I be able to sort myself out? Will I be able to sort out, sort out my parents, um, my siblings? So over the years, it was it was such a big issue because anxiety came, started creeping in, started creeping, kidogo, mm. kidogo. Then over time, became it was like a, a huge cloud. Mm. So the anxiety of uh, my bills, mm. the anxiety of uh, do I have a reason to wake up? So. But knowing God over time, and during that season, the most spectacular thing happened. Mm. Uh, I'm out of work, yes, but I'm able You're to sort jobless. out... Jobless. Jobless. <laughs> but I'm able to sort out all my bills, mm. weirdly. God works in weird ways. God, 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 works God is in just weird special, ways. let me so, just say that. So in that season when I was able to afford things I could not buy when I had a full-time job. The irony of life. The irony of life. Mm. I was able to sort out all my debts out of work compared to when I was in work, during work. And it's, it's interesting because for me, I think uh, my story is pretty similar. Although for me as a child, I, I was just a scared child. I don't even know where it came uh -huh. from, but it was from fear of the dark, fear, fear of loud sounds. I just was as, as scared of a lot of things. Then I got to high school and then it was fear of failure, fear of disappointing my parents. Then at some point I discovered I actually have anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like the smallest things would freak me out. I'd be freaking about... I'd be freaking out about um, what if my family dies, what if this and this and this happens. Yep. And I used to be paralyzed. Like I'd have panic attacks. You know those things of breathing in a paper. <laughs> 
for real. I yeah. thought it's only like the that's, movies. I thought so also. Then I'm like, oh, okay, fear can actually paralyze you. And maybe it has a lot to do with my personality type. I overthink everything. Okay. So I was scared of so many things. And it wasn't until I realized that um, knowing God makes a difference in how you see life. Some of the Man. things I was scared of happened, yes. but me being scared of them didn't stop them from happening. It's didn't not like it's, it's not like it changed the situation. Yes. The situation was still the same. But how I get through them is very different. So for me personally, I know that my walk with God is what changed how I view life. Okay. And I realized that I've become more fearless. It's not that life became easier, yes. but I became more fearless. And we see this um, happening all over the Bible when Jesus is talking to his disciples. Do not fear. And he's saying, do not fear. When they were in the... In the boat. When they're in the boat and the boat was capsizing and the disciples are like, this dude is sleeping and yes. we are dying. So they wake him up and they're like, Master, don't you care that we are sinking, that we are dying? And then he asked them, what were you afraid of? So you're afraid of? And we're like, Jesus, ye of duh, they're about to die. Like, what do you mean what were they afraid of? There was something, those are threats. It's something, yes. their fear made sense. Scenario two, when uh, they had so many people following them and mm. it was becoming dark, they had this anxiety of these people don't have food. Yeah. So how what are we going to sort the them multitude. out? Yeah. And over and over, we see Jesus bringing out the issue of fear and he calls it out. And I think the one thing that he's trying to draw our attention to is it's not the situation that matters. Mm -hmm. It's who your God is that matters. And when you know who your God is, it doesn't matter what's happening around you. Yes. Your perspective changes. And I like um, First John chapter 4. The whole chapter talks about very interesting things. It's covering God's love and how um, when we understand God's love, how it makes us see things differently. But there's one verse that really stands out. Yes. And that's John 1, uh, 1 John 4, 18. Just first. read for us what it says. So First John, uh, John chapter 4, verse 18 says, there's no, there's no room in love for fear. I repeat, there's no room in love for fear. Well-formed love banishes fear. I repeat, there's no room in love for fear. Well-formed love banishes fear. I like how you said well-formed love. Another version says perfect, perfect love, love casts yes, out fear. Casts out Who fear. else has perfect love other than God? Yes. And it's interesting that the more you get to know God, the more you understand that he is sovereign. He is above everything, every situation that you ever face. And sometimes the things that you're scared of might actually happen, may come to pass, yes. but that doesn't mean that God can't take that situation and bring something beautiful out of it. I've talked about how I had a fear of my family members dying. My dad ended up passing away when I was 17. Yes. But how God has worked that out it stand out to be for my good. The Romans says all, all things, things work, work together for good. All things, so, not some. Not some, all, all of things, them. Yes. God exists outside time, outside your situation. When Shem is talking about he was able to clear his debts without a job. Similar situation. I've gone through so many things in my life that I can't, I can't even explain how they happened. I've been able to do so many things that I didn't cost me a single thing. Okay. But when you know who your God is, when you get to that space where you're growing in your faith and you understand that God is not limited in resources, the situations that look so glim, the spaces that you don't know what to do with, when you allow God to walk into those spaces, Amen. things change. So when you get to a place where you're fearless, it's not that you don't feel Fear, it, but yep. you see God in every situation, yes. then it's very interesting that nothing can hold you back. And that's the place that Jesus is trying to bring us to as Christians. Amen. That's yes. the one thing that no other worldview can bring to the table. Where they, they tell you they are giving you the, the opportunity and the ability to get over fear. Not that the situation won't call oh, for change. it, mm -mm. but you're in a relationship with a God who is above and beyond anything you could comprehend. And there's one verse that I want us to conclude with. And this is 2 Timothy verse one, uh, chapter 1, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Yes. This verse, I think it's one of those things that just helped me get through anxiety. So it says, you've not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of self-control. Another version says, oh, and of a sound, sound mind. mind. Yes. And sound mind is being able to see things clearly despite the situation. Despite the situation. People may think sometimes you are high. Or, or you're uh, in denial. You're in denial. So... <laughs> 
you have uh, this calamity around you things are not working out yeah. but you are so calm you're like you have peace god cut it yeah uh it will work out um i still going to walk past these people yeah. who think you are high yeah. but the moment they get to know you are god mm. the moment to get to know where you incline yourself back to or yeah. into yeah. it's when they realize actually yeah. this perfect love which god is so willing to give for free yeah this is like my son my daughter just I come like to me this is one of those things that you can preach about for years and it's until you get to that point it's hard to comprehend because if you'd have told me that a few years ago I'd have been in a place where I don't know where my rent is coming from mm-hmm. and I'm sleeping like a baby I'd have told you hey, whatever it is you're on please stop yeah, taking stop, it stop taking yeah it. but now I've realized that the more you know god he makes he makes he almost makes things appear out of nothing Like he's the only one who's able to do that shame. <laughs> There you've said for you yeah, you paid yeah, debts yeah, and you didn't have a job. Yeah. Like if you tell somebody rational that it doesn't make any doesn't sense. sense yeah. But that's what God's love is. It's he knows you. He understands where you're at and it's it comes from a space of trusting in God, knowing him, seeking him and wanting to be in a consistent relationship with him, not the ATM kind of relationship yeah. that we usually have because most take, Christians take, take, God take, I need this, yeah. do it. God I need this. No. But just understanding that you're loved, that no matter what comes your way, because it's it doesn't mean that you'll be removed from this life now nope. that you have no problems, but you know that whatever comes your way that your God is with you. Yeah, whatever no comes matter your way. what. Jesus promised that. Yeah. In this world you, you will have, have many, many troubles. troubles. But yes, take be, heart. Be, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Overcome all this. That's it. That's, That's all it. we need. Shem. So, pray for us. So, <laughs> some, in conclusion, the antidote of fear is God's love. Yeah. So, That's let's pray. It. Heavenly Father, we come before you this time. Thank you, Lord, for this time you've given unto us, O Lord, to discuss how amazing your love is. Thank you, Lord, for always assuring us that you have our backs, that you will go before us, that you know everything around us, O Lord. We ask you, Lord, to give us, O Lord, to experience your spirit because your spirit doesn't give us fear. Your spirit gives us uh, this perfect peace oh lord mm-hmm. we pray oh lord that as we step out every day uh in our homes where we are as we go to work when we we are studying when we start a project when mm-hmm. anything oh lord every platform you've given unto us oh lord that we will be bold will have courage oh lord that we will step out oh lord fearlessly mm-hmm. We thank you Lord because you are an amazing father. We thank you Lord because you love us so much. We ask you Lord to always always be with us. We thank you so much. In Jesus name I do pray believe and trust in. Amen. Amen. So thank until next time. It's been real. It's been real. <laughs> See you guys.